Alright guys, I got this product to review. It's my birthday and my girlfriend got me this. I have electronic robots. You see one over there. But this thing cleans your grill. Pretty crazy. I would have never thought of something like this. And uh, I've never used one of these. We're going to take it out and take a look at it and you know try it out on my grill because my grill could, could use a cleaning right now. And um, I'm not sure what the alarm and timer is really for on here, but it has that. It's got your rechargeable battery. You can clean the brushes in the dishwasher. And um, basically it cleans your grill. Let's look at the back of the pack so you can kind of see the underneath of it here. It's got like three spinning brushes. And I guess it kind of bumps around inside your grill to clean it off. So we're going to go ahead and take this out and take a look and then try it out on the grill. Alright, so here's a quick look at what we get in the box. You're going to get your charge cord for the rechargeable battery in there. Here is the grill bot itself. Looks like we have a button over here. Came with a fairly charged battery, so we should be able to try it. Oh, stop! Ah, 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 turn off! Ah. Oh god, turn off! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so that's how you start it. We'll figure that out. I haven't read the instructions. In the box you also get the instructions here and then a little instruction panel there. So let me go ahead and look through that so I know what I'm doing when I press the button and then we'll test it out of my grill. Alright, so real simple instructions here. As you can see here, push once for a 10 minute scrub, twice for a 20 and three times for a 30 minute scrub. So I press the button once and that's why it started. And uh, it'll go until it's done with the time or until you hold the button like I did there to stop it. So let's go look at my grill so you can see it before and after and test this thing out. Alright guys, so here is my grill. Underneath is dirty, it's not going to get underneath. That panel comes out, this thing that is under there. But it's going to clean the grill grate surface itself. And just for fun, I have some grill cleaner. So I'm just going to spray some of that on if this comes out. And uh, then we'll put this on there. Now you need to have a closing grill. If your grill doesn't close on top, uh, it, will, it might fall out. So you need a grill that closes. My grill's fairly small but it should have enough height for this. And the other nice thing that I might not have mentioned is these brushes are removable and dishwasher safe, so that's cool. So I put down some grill spray. We're gonna go ahead and put this in, press the button once, and it's gonna take five seconds to start. Once it starts, I'll, sh I'll close it. Oh, oh, hold on, we lost the brush. Oh, we lost the brush, hold on, stop, oh God. Oh God, stop, we lost the brush. Giving you guys a real, real review here. I'm gonna throw this brush back on if I can get it back on. Giving you guys a real time first try review here. So that brush came off. Let's see if it'll work this time. Not coming off. Maybe it was, you know, it's brand new out of the package. Maybe it just wasn't pushed in all the way. All right, so here we go. And check that out. It is going around, brushing everything. So let me get it in the middle and close the grill. And now we'll come back and check on it in a few minutes. All right, guys, it just stopped and it's beeping at me, telling me it's done. So let's take a quick look. Looks like it lost one of its things. It seems like one likes to fall off, no big deal. Maybe I'll just uh, mess with this little connector a little bit. But they are take off and on for dishwasher safe. But let's take a quick look at the grill. Of course, like I said, it's not going to clean underneath. But the grill grate itself on the top, where the actual food touches, looks pretty clean. And there's no um, little pieces of metal that like came off and are stuck there. You don't want like little pieces of metal on your grill. So it doesn't look like there's little pieces of metal all over or anything on the top where you're cooking. So kind of cool. Did a really nice job. It's, I mean, pretty good job for what it is. And it, that was the lowest setting. You could put it for, you know, three times as long for 30 minutes. But pretty darn interesting little thing. So that is the grill bot. Have any questions, let me know. First time I tried it, we just tried it out together there. And uh, awesome birthday gift here. Uh, definitely keep my clean grill cleaner than if I didn't have it. So pretty cool little thing. So see y'all later.